My whole life has been art, music, art, music, art, music, and trying to tie these two together. And now it's culminated to the paintings. Hip hop heavily influenced my young adulthood and my teenage years in the 90s. So for like two decades, I wrote graffiti. And that really got me deeper into hip hop, which brought me to DJing and brought me to MCing. And that brought me to make mixtapes and records and go on tours. From black books to the most city kings, it's hard to explain. One of them things is life on the line. Watch what it brings. They call it a trauma. It's a lifeline syringe. From beef to peace, police up on creeps. What I learned with writing raps on paper and recording, I now translate into my paper. The idea of freestyles, the energy I learned through rap. Being a freestyle, there's no forward thinking or backwards thinking, like you're just in the moment. And that energy is a very amazing energy to touch on. And I try to get there with my paintings. As I say, my work is like visual freestyle. They're often these, these lyrical thoughts. Every painting I make begins with me finding the right music to rock. First, I just create a blank canvas. Just do all the work, work behind it. Get ready. Put beats on. And when that energy hits, I approach it like I'm rapping. I'm into energy and I'm into like motion, and I think that's why I love New York. The paintings, like, I want them to capture the energy. It's exhilarating to make marks that are like choo -choo. It's like when you're catching tags on the street and have like 30 seconds, not even like a tag, 12 seconds, 10 seconds, and you're out. But that energy is just like, bang, it's explosive and it's done. Paintings are a blend of the rap writing, freestyle rapping, graffiti writing, illegal graffiti writing, which is like catching tags and being out. A lot of people ask me what the art says. I always try to keep like a positive undertone or a social commentary to my work. I feel like if the work is going to live with somebody in their place, it, sh it should have an undertone of good, good energy, good intention. And when I paint in the street and I do murals and work like that, I tend to bring in a social message or, you know, kind of talk about things in that light. Also in this day and age that we're living, like with the screens and the technology and stuff, like the human energy is something that I think it just can't be duplicated. And uh, you can see in the work there's like an explosive human quality to it. You're in Queens, New York right now. I'm Bisco Smith in the studio doing what I do. <laughs>